Hi everyone, welcome to our Getting Your Voice Heard session with you, Student Seniors. Just to make you all aware, we are recording this session and it will be made available to others at a late date. If you do not wish to be featured or screen seen in the recording, please ensure your cameras and uh, microphones are turned off. So let's meet our team, your student voice team, which is your student voice team. Myself, my name is Rabbi. I'm your Vice President of Education and the Deputy President of the Student Union. Let's meet Josie. Hi, Josie, uh, our Student Voice Coordinator. Say hi. Hi, my name is Josie. I'm a Student Voice Coordinator. Um, I work really closely with Rabbi and with Andrew, who unfortunately couldn't make it today, but who is also on the team. Um, and it's effectively our job to make sure that students get their voices heard at the university. So we're going to explain a little bit more. All right, just go back again, please, Rabbi. I'm going to explain a little bit more, but first of all, Rabbi, could you tell us exactly what a VP education is and why your role is so important at South? Yes, definitely. So as your VP education, my responsibility is to make sure that you voice heard loud and clear across the university regarding your student experience and your academic experience also. And our, my job responsibility is to uh, uh, communicate with the university to develop uh, policies, student-friendly policies in terms of your education as like EC policies, uh, no document policies, so many others. So uh, definitely that's my job and I'm on it. Josie. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, just a little bit of housekeeping. I think you should all have a Q&A, so a question and answer uh, box at the bottom um, of your screens. If you've got any questions throughout the presentation, please type them in the box and we'll get back to you at the end. So we're first going to start off talking a little bit about uh, what our team does um, and how we can work together with students to create a better learning experience here at South Bank. So the first thing that we do is we manage the course rep scheme. I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail in a minute. But that's one of our really key roles here. We also support students in running for elected officer positions. So this is, uh, for example, what Rabbi does. Um, uh, he's going to explain a little bit more about elected officer positions later. Um, so we work with the Union Council to make positive changes for students and we support students through their academic and other university issues during their time here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is what is a course rep and why do we need them? Um, yep, can you go forward please, RBE? Ravi, you're on mute. Oh, that's how, like, you know, our now virtual life is, like, <laughs> like unmute yourself and mute yourself. So, yeah, so get back to the topic, which is culture. Culture is such an interesting thing, which is, like, to make sure that you voice is that, like, after the university, as a culture, what we do. So I was also a coach for three years in a row. As a coach, your responsibility will be to make sure that in your course, all the course issues, you gathered all the course issues or communicate to the course and feed it back to you. You make sure that you get services from the university. So how do you become a coach? So if you want to become a coach rep, in the beginning of every the academic year and also throughout the academic year, we encourage the lecturers and all the students to work with the course team. And your lecturers will be you in your lecture rooms saying that if you are interested, put your name or put your nomination for the course of elected. What if you take to one minute, but you will have to tell about what kind of changes you are bring if you become a course rep. And then it will be up to your classmates to vote for you or someone else who, whom they will think the best. So as a course rep, you will be what you will get. As a course rep, you will get the chance to uh, develop your leadership skills. You will be able to boost your uh, CV. And at the end of your course rep term, you will get a certification saying that you are a course rep and which will give you a chance to go, which will give you a chance to uh, mention that when you will be in your uh, life saying that you work as a you served as a leader in your university life and which will help you to get jobs and so many other things so yeah so why do you why do we need them so 
To make sure that a student voice is heard across the university, we gathered monthly basis, all of your feedback to make sure that you, a uh, student gets the better service and if there's any issues, we can solve that. Yep. So, yeah, <laughs> Ruby, thank you so much. Um, so yeah, just as Ruby says, course reps are students who's been elected to represent the views of their students in their year on their course. So for example, if you're studying, um, uh, accounting and finance, there will be at least one course rep for year one, year two, year three, and year four, if that's the case. Um, so we have course reps for undergraduate uh, and postgraduate levels. So whether you're doing a foundation year, an undergraduate, a master's or MSc, or a doctoral or a PhD degree, you will have, or you should have course reps. Um, uh, the process of sort of becoming a course rep, like Ravi says, is uh, you put your name forward and you go through the election process. It's really simple. One thing I would say about being a course rep is it's a real simple job. You don't need to attend lots of meetings. Um, it's basically just your role to make sure that the students and the lecturers and other university staff are um, sort of cohesive in what they understand about problems or solutions. Um, and we think that students understand students better than anyone else, especially now. So we don't really know what it's like to be students in a pandemic or, you know, with working from home or perhaps even studying in another country. And so it's really crucial that we have uh, course reps who really understand the potential issues and potential challenges that students are faced with. You're the primary link between staff and students. You can give students real ownership over their education. OK, next slide, please, Robbie. Great. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, course reps, they gather feedback from students on their course about their academic experience. So, for example, uh, you might have an issue like um, we've got this book and it's on our recommended reading list, but there isn't a copy in the library or we can't access it online. Uh, so that's something that you as a course rep would come to us and we would help you with. Uh, other things like our assessments are really close to each other and we're thinking about trying to get our deadlines changed. That's something really crucial. Um, course reps attend meetings organised by the school for course reps, uh, and that's sort of a chance to all get together uh, and talk about anything that might be coming up um, and talk about student feedback. So, all right, go back a bit, please, Rob. Um, yep, so you um, talk about student feedback, so you would then go from that meeting back to your class and say, this is what we spoke about and this is what we came to. Uh, yep, that's basically the course reps. So, Rabbi, can you say very briefly, what are elections yes. and why do we need them at South Bank? Sure. So, elections is a democratic process. And uh, as a student union, we are totally an independent organization. Like, most of the time, like, students get confused, like, a student union might be, a, uh, like, a part of the university. Yeah, we are part of the university. University, but as a person, we are totally independent, but we work with partnership with you. We work in partnership with the university to, to make sure that uh, you know, the university is providing all the services they promise to you and everything. So, yeah, true, uh, in every year we elect more than 15 plus roles as a student leader, a student leadership roles, including four full time office roles. Where uh, we have a place with our current person name at Telesan. If you need any support, you can contact her to to emails and other things like uh, WhatsApp and other other words. My name is Ravi, and as I have introduced myself, I'm the and also we have got welfare and equalities, and also we have a BP activities who does all the amazing things outside of your classroom, like you know organizing events and uh, what is called doing uh, pop quizzes and so many things. And also, uh, we have got. As a full-time officer, it is we t we take one year gap uh, to serve you, and uh, it becomes our full-time job. And make sure that, like you know, uh, for attending university meetings and getting a uh, feedback for you. So we have got all the time officers, whereas like we have got a uh, mature student officers, uh, uh, BAME student officers, women students officers. So if, if you are interested in any of these parts, you can uh, you can put nominations during the election period, and uh, you can do campaign. You can get elected, and you can represent your uh, favorite uh, um, uh, uh, which is called group of people. So yeah, so if you wanna be 
come, uh, uh, really, uh, get involved with the student union, your leadership skills, and very much first. And so we have also union council and what do you need? So union council is a place like uh, in Indian council. Do you like to go to the union council? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, can you go to the next slide, please? Fab. Yeah. So uh, the union council, I know it might sound a little bit confusing um, when we first go into it, but I promise it does get easier. The union council effectively are made up of the full-time officers, so like Rabi and Hachi, and part-time officers. Um, so, for example, like our LGBTQIA officer, our women's officer, our environmental officer, etc. Um, also, our, the sort of head of the sports chair um, and the society chair and the course rep chair. Um, and actually, any student can attend if they wish. And it's where we meet to discuss students, union issues and feedback on activities, issues and campaigns. So, for example, um, you we may have um, a we have our course rep meetings every month and the course rep chair who is the student elected to sort of look run over that and um, will go to the council and he or she will say this is what's going on this is what we've been doing over the past month and everybody does that so that we've got a bit of an update on what's happening um, they're also there to hold elected officials to account and that's really important so for example um, if you have an elected officer who's um made uh, a statement or a claim and they're not living up to it um, or students are disappointed or upset with anything that's happened within the union it's the council who hold the officers to account and make sure that basically they're towing the line because at the end of the day it's um student success is the thing that we want more than anything um and so the council are there to make sure that everybody's doing what they said they would do and when they said they would do it and it's one of the highest levels of democratic decision making in the union. But it's also uh, it's also quite fun. Like, I feel like we've sort of just been explaining what it does, but it is also fun. So um, it's like Ravi says, being part of the council, being a, a trustee, being a full or part time officer, fantastic way to boost your CV um, and uh, sort of work with with really great like minded people, but also a chance to uh, Sort of work together to put on campaigns and events and activities uh, that students really care about that are really sort of beneficial and really uh, like really matter to South Bank students. That's what we want. Yeah, just like you know, like for sure, like you know, my experience as a part time officer, I was also the part time officer, which was like uh, in back in 2018, I was the international student officer, where I used to represent all the international students at South Bank, and the most uh, like exciting thing about it is that you know when you you help a student when you become a student leader, a student will come to you and share their views and they will share their experience and everything. And if when you help them, if it, like the feelings you get, the positive vibe and everything, like you know the satisfaction you get that you help someone to your uh, using your position and using leadership skill, that gives like unbelievably happiness and like you know that and also it helps you to you have the most fun what you get in the union council you can get free pizzas and so many drinks like, like and everything which we do normally when we are on campus well, we don't do bribery though do we Rafi? you have the free pizzas and everything in the of course for bribery Josie that's like you know the fun so that's what I loved also. Uh, so yeah, so, like, so many things. If you are interested, just get involved with the student union, and I I can say that like you will love your union and like, you will love student union as a leader. And so at this moment, I'll just ask you guys like, if you have any questions, feel free to do that you any. We would love to answer them. Sure, just ask you an election. Please, if you have good questions. Absolutely fine. If there's no okay. questions. Um, yeah, absolutely fine if there's no questions. Um, we should have put our email addresses on here. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, our email, my email address is josie at southbank.su. And I'd love to hear from students. I do a really student facing role. So any problem, kind of no matter how big or small, if it's like um, my, we can't access our lectures online or 
um, we're unhappy with the way that this lecturer is responding to us, or even my lecturer is not responding to me, they haven't answered my emails, uh, drop me an email and we can get in contact with the department and we can see uh, what steps we can take from there. I'm also quite nice to just, oh, we've got chat box. I'm also quite nice to just talk to uh, if anybody ever just wants to chat about how things are going at university, like how they're coping or if anything needs changing, please let me know. Um, so these are our social media handles. So Twitter and Instagram at Southbank, SU underscore, and Facebook is Southbank Students Union. So I have added uh, what's called my personal email address, my university working email address, and Joseph's email address. So if you guys need any support or if you guys feel uh, like you want to know something more about or anything, just get in touch with us. We'll, we will be able to, we will love to help you guys and we'll be more than happy to help you guys. So yeah, so as I can see, Joseph, there is no other questions and I think, yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for coming. And if you're watching this virtually, thank you so much. Oh, sorry, if you're watching this after the event, thank you so much for watching. And we really can't wait to start working with everybody. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining with us today. Thank you.